So where did we come from? Seems like a simple enough question, yet humanity as a whole seems to have no true consensus. And why is that? Perhaps because our history has not always been well preserved. Whether it's from the burning of the Library of Alexandria or catastrophic events like the Great Flood, anthropologists are at a loss as to when modern civilization first came about. In Turkey, a relatively recent site by the name of Gobekli Tepe was uncovered in 1996. This site shook the archaeological and anthropological world because it defied all consensus as to when civilization came about, doubling the age of the Sumerian Empire. Recently, archaeologists from the University of Edinburgh have published a paper on the Journal of Mediterranean Archaeology and Archaeometry that details their interpretation that the Vulture Stone from Gobekli Tepe unveils an earth-shattering event with comets that struck down around 12,800 years ago. I found this so interesting because for the few who saw my previous episode, I mentioned something very close to that. Hopi Indians have this belief, uh, and the Dogon tribe also talk about this, that there were many worlds. There are many uh, versions of humanity that have come, come about. And the Hopi Indians said that the first version was burned by fire. But before humanity was taken down by fire, Apparently, the Hopi Indians were led to an underground cavern that was essentially uh, built by what they called ant people. Ant people. I mean, ant people. Doesn't, wouldn't that just be exactly like the alien that we just saw? The Hopi Indians talk about a prophecy to which we are a product of the fourth world of humanity. To clarify this point, here's what AncientOrigins.net says in describing the belief of the Hopi Indians. The first world was destroyed by fire. The second world was destroyed by ice. And the tremendous deluge destroyed the third world. Despite being a continent apart from the Hopi Indians, there is another culture in West Africa who have an uncanny similarity with the Hopi Indians. I want to talk about the uh, similarities between the Hopi Indians and the Dogon tribe. And, it, and it's really, it's something that you would not believe is possible from one from two cultures that are completely in different continents. For example, the Hopi Indians have these uh, gods that they call kachinas. Uh, they made kachina dolls representing these gods and they describe them as lizard people. Whereas the Dogon people describe their gods uh, as frog-faced people. So we have two different cultures from two different continents describing their gods as not just amphibians, but literally giving like similar type animals that could represent some type of features. Another thing, both uh, cultures required ropes to be able to get to their dwellings. The, the way they constructed the housings, um, the planning of it is very, very similar. And both cultures, of course, have gods who came from the sky. Here's another similarity we can add to the list. Both native cultures, the Dogon tribe and the Hopi Indians, had their mythologies validated by scientific studies. They also had a term for uh, a third star step system, which they called Emaya, which was supposed to mean bigger and less dense. And that's where they said their ancestors, that's the, the home star of the ancestor. It, it's not the white dwarf, it's not Sirius B, but it's the third star system. Now here's what I found absolutely amazing. I mean, just shocking. This third star system supposedly does not exist meaning we have not photographed this third star. However, in 1994, there was a, a paper that was written, an academic paper that was written, that specifically posited the possibility of a third star. Though this academic paper, uh, um, though they said we could not physically see the star itself, they did, uh, through mathematical analysis, uh, come to the conclusion that a third star had to exist in a star system. And this happened in 1994, you know, this published uh, paper in, in the Astronomy Journal. So how is it that a Dogon tribe, 5,000 years old, is talking about something that could have only been discovered in 1994? I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. Some might see this as speculation. However, consider that the Hopi Indians also said that the Second Age was destroyed by ice whereas the Vulture Stone in Turkey discusses the comet striking around 10,950 BC, around 12,907 years ago, the Younger Dryas, the Mini Ice Age, was said to have started 12,900 years ago, which is almost an exact match in age. 
So, could this be what the Hopi Indians were referencing when they talked about the second world being destroyed by ice after the first was wiped out by fires? And to add to that, they believe in the notion that the third world was killed by water. Anthropologically speaking, the Great Flood is probably the most prevailing catastrophic event discussed in all of human history. There is a consensus that writing in many cultures, Sumerian and Egyptian, arose around 3500 BC, which would have placed the estimated date of the flood just previous to that if you adhere to the notion that the great civilizations suddenly arose after the Great Flood. So, even if all this can be verified, Homo sapiens, according to the scientific consensus, is at least 250,000 years old. So what happened to humanity between the comet strikes almost 13,000 years ago and the oldest Homo sapien fossils discovered 250,000 years ago? Think of that time gap. It's over 10 times the amount of time from the oldest universally accepted records of human civilization. If there is one thing we know for certain about human history, is that we're really at a loss as to where we came from. Thanks for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Are there any other civilizations that may have been present prior to Gobekli Tepe? I will take the time to read all your comments. If you like this episode and you want to subscribe, click the link to the left. Make sure you turn on the notifications to be warned about future episodes. Thanks for joining me. This is Felipe Osorio, signing out.